Jason Spears here with DrPremed.com. Thanks for coming to the site. I want to talk to everybody about a little issue that a lot of pre-med students are having this time of year or just in general. It's that you're taking a look at your grades and things aren't as how you want them to be. You've probably even spoken to a pre-health, pre-med advisor and they took one great look at your grades and they said, are you sure medicine is what you want to do? Are you sure you haven't explored any other opportunities? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit story about myself. I understand fully what you're going through. I remember when I was taking my favorite subject, organic chemistry, at Harvard Summer School, and I spoke with one of my TAs, and they basically said, with grades like these, you're never going to get into medical school. Obviously, that's not the case because I'm currently a third year medical student, so you definitely can get into med school, but you have to turn things around and do things differently. So I want to speak to you about some of the things that you should definitely be doing. And one of the things is if you're junior or senior year, you're about to graduate and you still want to apply to medical school, I'm going to be upfront with you and say, if your numbers aren't where they need to be, you're not going to be competitive and you're not going to get in. But it doesn't mean that you can't get into med school even if you have low or subpar GPA. There's an alternative for you. And this is why you're here. It's called post back programs. And I just want to inform you about that. These are programs where you're going to basically take some of the first year medical school curriculum, the classes. And if you do well, it's going to give you a shot where you can go on and apply to medical school after you complete the program. So if you've been told that your numbers aren't where they need to be, that you're probably not going to be a doctor, don't give up hope because post back programs are the one for you. And if you're the pre-med who's taken a majority of your pre-med classes, what you need to do is you need to take a special master's program because that's going to do a lot of things for you that I reveal a little bit more in my post back guidebook for getting into medical school where I touch on a different type of post back programs, how they work in your favor, and how it's basically your gateway to getting into medical school because there's a secret way how these post back programs can actually erase your undergrad record, not completely, but make it where the medical school admissions officers are going to give you that chance that you want to get into medical school. You just want that one opportunity to show people, yes, I might have had some hiccups along the way in undergrad, but I know medicine is what I want to do. I'm fully committed to the field and becoming a doctor. And you just need that one shot. And post back programs are the way for that to happen for you. And if I can do it, you certainly can do it because my record coming out of undergrad wasn't the hottest. But I worked hard, got into the right type of post back program, and just really enjoyed myself going through medical school now and being able to have patient contact, working with patients, different physicians doing procedures and all of that. I know that's a dream that you have, to be a doctor, to uh, practice medicine, and just make a difference in the world, one patient at a time. It all begins with getting into medical school, and unfortunately, if your grades aren't where they need to be or your MCAT isn't the best, then the first thing you need to do is get those numbers higher, and the only way that I see you doing that is working through a post back program. And so this is what this is all about. It is a post back guidebook for getting to medical school. We can learn about over 35 different programs that are geared specifically for pre-med students like yourself. You're not going to be the first and you're not going to be the last who's had a bad undergrad experience academically and still wants to be a doctor. You can make it happen. You just got to work hard and just stay motivated. And this is what I'm here to help you do. So check out my post back guidebook for getting into medical school and good luck.